Hello, day trippers, and welcome to another episode of PA in a Day. video uh, this is PA in a day obviously so we take day trips so technically we're still on form here uh, we're in Pennsylvania of course this is I'm on my porch right now and uh, I am taking a day trip but I'm not leaving I'm not going anywhere how is this possible well let me explain a little bit I want people to see the miracle that is the oculus 2 uh, I got this for Christmas from Liza of course and uh, now, just Tuesday, I was diagnosed with the dreaded C virus. I don't want to say the word to invoke algorithms on YouTube here. But, uh, you know, it's the second time I've had it. I knew what to expect. It hasn't been as bad this time, but still, it knocks the wind right out of you. Uh, that said, I, <laughs> I'm the kind of person that likes to go on excursions. I'm in total slob mode right now, too. I mean, you can see I'm wearing my dog hair-ridden robe, and I'm wearing a hat because I always wear a hat. But uh, I've even got my cool new Crocs on. But uh, anyway, uh, total slop mode, like I said, but I've been sick. So, But uh, what got me through this was keeping my sanity was I was taking day trips through my Oculus 2 in a place called Meta World Horizons. And uh, if you're feeling cabin fever, which I am, I'm still weak, I'm still sick, but if you're feeling cabin fever, this thing has, it, it, it helps. It helps to get out and explore and look around and meet people, have so, so, social interaction. And uh, that was my avatar in the beginning. So I wanted to do another video. If we feel good, we're on an eight-day vacation now, Liza and I, from our, our new workplace. And uh, if I'm feeling better next week, we're going to do a couple day trips and do proper videos. But I wanted to keep the channel fresh. I wanted to put something up. And I wanted to show you exactly what you're capable of doing in this Meta World Horizons. Meta being uh, Facebook, you know, it's owned by uh, that company. And uh, it's the Zuckerberg uh, Corporation. But uh, this has kept me sane. So... Without further ado, I'm going to go back into avatar mode, and we're going to show you exactly what this is about. More people should have had this when the pandemic was at full swing, because I think it would have helped with the, the whole isolation, social interaction thing. I mean, you can't catch a virus, unless it's a computer virus, over uh, VR. And that's what this is, virtual reality. So, here we go. All right, so we're going to start out here in my home, and... Uh, let me get rid of this and this and uh, we'll look around my home here a little bit now oh I was just over and I watched this uh, I was waiting for this to be released it came out last night and uh, this is in a place called venues and that's my jumping off point for this meta horizons uh, I usually go to venues first and then I'll just branch out from there watch some videos uh, and the videos I mean you're, what you're seeing right now is on a screen a small screen on YouTube basically probably through your phone but, and you can see, there's my hands in front of me too, uh, where I did the intro was right here. And of course, there's a little bit of a lag, but you can see your mouth moving. So you can have social interaction with people in real time. And like I said, this is what's been keeping me sane. I think it kind of looks like me. Do you think? Anyway. Okay. Bye, handsome. Uh, oh, these are gateways, portals to other worlds. And again, this is my own little apartment. Each person, I guess, has this through Meta Horizons. Uh, there's my little sunken living room. There's some games in here. There's an upstairs, but I'm going to spare you because I don't want to make these videos too long, these uh, particular videos. So we're going to go out here, and I'm going to put my screen up, and we're going to hop over to Venues, which should be, like, right here. There it is. And it's showing you there's 19 people in there right now. So visit World, and you'll see me evaporate like a teleporter beam, and we're heading over to Venues. All right, now, here we are in venues, and I'm gonna kinda be a little quieter because I don't want people to think I'm crazy talking to myself, but I'm recording for the video, obviously. They don't know that, though. But uh, this is venues. This is, uh, there's Oceana. Beautiful little documentary. There's Be Mine. 
And each person you see in here is actually a live person. They're moving around doing things, just little games and things like that. But it's a really nice little area. And like I said, this is my jumping off point. Uh, let's take a look inside one of the theaters here. Let's go into Oceana. We're going to hop over here. And like I said, you're seeing this in real time. I'm doing this. I'm looking around. My head is moving. Now I'm doing that transporter beam thing like in Star Trek. And it'll tell me I'm going over to Event Space 180. And uh, let me see here. It takes a minute. It has to load. Look around. There's a little glitch there. All right. Oh, hello. I'm right in somebody's face here. Uh, but you walk in, and I'm going to get quiet here just to get, give you an idea. All right, I'm going to find a quiet little corner so I can explain the search engine option. So I can get over here. Nope. Yeah, there I go. Okay. So I'm still in venues, but... All right. Now, what you do if you want to explore places, and there are literally, literally thousands of worlds. Call up the engine here. Oops. Wrong one. There we go. Now I'm going to go back. And you have all these suggested options... Uh, hold on, my nose it just well, that's rough when you're wearing this stuff. Uh, different ones, like uh, Fancy Steer was one I was at the other day. I was talking with some people. It's like a uh, country bar, you know. Uh, venues is right there again. Uh, the Rooster is another one. I saw live music there. That was pretty neat. But there's that Eli Roth's Be Mine. It's a Valentine's Day slasher movie for anybody who knows who Eli Roth is. But let's choose one here, and we'll hop over. Uh, let me get something with no people in it. Let me see. You know what? There's one in particular called Trippy. So we're going to go to the Ridiculous first off. Uh, let me see. Now, Trippy Realm. Let's try that. So here we go. Now once I wait for it to, uh, you know, transport me. But this is, I was trying to show you before, it's 360 view here. And this is what it is with 99% of what's in VR. Uh, but this is an open platform as well, I might mention. All these worlds, some of them are created by Meta Horizon, the actual Meta uh, company. But a lot of them are uh, just different people. You know, they, have, they do assembly. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, we're in a bathroom. I'm going to try and take it a little slower here. But there. Around the corner. Oh my goodness. Looks like a unicorn did his business in there. Please don't forget to flush. Well, we're going to flush. And here we are. And down we go. Oh, I hate heights. But this is the trippy realm. Look at that Volkswagen bus. Oh, feel like you're being watched? And you got to be careful you don't fall off, because you can fall off. It'll just send you back to the beginning. But this is definitely different. But I'm seeing all this in 3D. So you look behind you, and everything's still back there. The planets. Oi, oi, oi. All right. Next little portion here. I'm still on the Rainbow Bridge. And uh, there's some DNA strands up there and some chemical equations you do have a jump feature as well like I said this is what's been keeping me sane for the past week I can actually explore a little bit and not all the worlds are like this either there are some that are very calming which I'm gonna go to a couple of them just for examples I have to go into the waterfalls here oh my look at that action Looks like I have to get abducted by an alien. A UFO here. Alright, so we're going to go through here. There we go. And up we go. And that's it. It's just a short little world, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, this gives you, usually at the end or somewhere in the world, they give you options to uh, visit different worlds, usually by the, the original programmer of the world you're in. 
or if they give props to their friends for, you know, programming a cool world or whatever, you can go anywhere you want. But there are literally, I, there's got to be thousands of worlds. Anyway. All right, here we are at a cityscape called Samaj, S-E-M-A-J. And uh, it's pretty impressive, actually. But there's different places you can visit there. The Rooster, that's one of the bars where they had live music I was talking about. But now you got to remember, I mean, like I said, day trip, man, you're, that's why it's virtual reality. It's not real, but it feels like it. it. It really feels like you're there. I'm seeing this, like I said, once again, in 3D, full blown. Uh, heights bother me in this, <laughs> which there are quite a bit of. It's simulation. I mean, you know you're sitting on your couch. But your brain still, it, it tricks your brain into thinking you're up above. And some of the scapes are incredible. But you get the idea of the city here. There's a boat, actually, that's out there. It takes you around. And somebody is standing there. I think that's just a, it's an NPC. Yeah, non-player character. So, what's up? No response. Okay. On to the next little world here. A nursing home. God, I do that in real life. I don't want to go there in virtual. But yeah, there's the the cityscape. All right, on to the next one. We're going to go to Bourne Water Park, I think. All right, now I wanted to save everybody the trouble of me transporting, so we're just skipping to the next world here. These are the heights I'm talking about. I mean, I'm sitting on my couch. My butt's on my couch right now. I'm in my little cubby I've been in for the past week. But that elevator, if you want to call it that, takes you up to those slides. Now, hesitantly, I'm walking over here in virtual. And there it goes again. And I will show you exactly what it does. But then you take those slides down. You're actually in a virtual water park. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. And here we go. Jeez. Heights, heights, heights. All right, I'm on the platform up here. But you can see the water park here. And I know I own no rights to these. I'm not getting paid to endorse this stuff at all. But uh, let's choose the green slide. But I'm just um, exemplifying why it's so good when you're having cabin fever. All right, here we go. Let's kill ourselves on the slide. Oh, man. Whoosh. Whew. You can see me splash when I hit down there. You can get it through it faster if you jump. There we go. Now. All right. For the sake of my little community here for day trips, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to launch myself over to the huge toilet you saw in the distance. And that is also another slide. And they have, these are shortcuts. You can go up the steps or you can go on the... Uh, the cannon, which I'll do the cannon thing, even though I hate heights. All for the better of the community. Here we go. Boom. Oh, my God. Holy mother. And right on the edge. Ooh, you can feel that right in your pit of your stomach. And here's the flusher. And down we go. Ooh. Over to the hopper. Oi, ay, 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 ay and flushed so you get the idea of this world pretty neat stuff i'm not going to do it all because i'm trying to give you an example and a sample of some of the things you can do in meta horizons now look vr the, the oculus you can do so much more but i'm just i'm highlighting this uh, particular place the meta horizon worlds so on to the next place now here's a nice little world this is mountain cabin i believe wait a minute Mellow Mountains in the springtime. And a uh, nice little place to visit. There's a waterfall. And I'm sinking in the creek here, the river. Whatever you want to call that. But uh, it's beautiful. It's a, it's a hangout. I mean, there are games throughout some of these worlds and uh, different action games and things. But this you can come to with a friend or two and just basically sit here and talk. And once again, in real time, with the people you meet across these worlds. Um... There is a way to get up there. I'm not going to do that. But, uh, yeah, nice little calming area. So, 
I'm trying to highlight as many as I can here, but just to show you, you can go virtually, literally, virtually anywhere. Welcome to the kitchen. All right, I wanted to find one that had a little bit more activity. Uh, this is a kitchen, and I think a lot of kids come here basically just to play. It's like a virtual playroom. So, sorry, how you doing, buddy? Filming a documentary, that's why I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I got the onion. But in here, you're like a pixie in a large, oversized kitchen. So. You get the pinky sea salt. Well, we got a vermin problem. Oh, here, here. I reset it, okay? I reset it. Okay, okay. guys, we're making well, the kiwi. You get the idea. All right, this last town I'm going to show you here. Little area, little British seaside. And I was here a couple days ago and roaming around the beach. And uh, it is, it's like a little boardwalk. Since I'm English, my heritage is English, British. Uh, I thought it was fitting for a closure. But there's the time in Britain right now. Uh, we're five hours behind that. So it is, in fact, 10.38 here. Yeah, you have a little wristwatch. You hold up your hand a certain way, and it, uh, it'll it show you the time. And yeah, it gives you options, either one. But, uh, yeah, there's a little little uh, store frontage here. And I don't think you can go in, no. Uh, but I thought it was beautiful. I really did. Whoever programs these worlds, I mean, a lot of them are winners. There's a couple losers I've been in, but... Uh, Fish and chips is closed due to those seagulls. Oh, yeah. There they are. Rats with wings. Anyway. Ice cream. And you can grab stuff. I don't know if... Right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got a chocolate ice cream cone. Well, I used... I did. There it is. Well, I grabbed it by the ice cream, but you can eat them. Virtually. Believe me, it has no taste. Hey, hey, the ice cream's gone. All right, let's see what I can do. Ah, uh, nothing. All right, well, they can have my cone back. But, yeah, it's a little fruit and veg stand. And, of course, the ocean with a fire. So, that's going to close out my videos from in here. There's just, there's so much I could show. There really is. But we're going to hop back to... Uh, actual reality in just a second so poof but that's the video for the most part like i said uh, this is my shadow too you can see me back to actual reality this is the uh, oculus 2 like i said vr headset and i was in meta quest horizons world uh actually meta horizons world uh, more specifically but uh there's a two hand controls that uh, basically becomes an extension of your body your hands your arms and of course there's the headset Pretty simple looking, but it retails for around $500, and I got the extra battery pack for the back. It extends the battery life, so you can you don't have to recharge it constantly. But yeah, that's what you're looking through. Just, But it's like you're in a whole different realm. You're taking day trips without leaving your home, and it's nice. So, like I said, this has kept me sane for the past week. Um, I mean, I love the thing anyway. I really do. And I want to thank Liza immensely for getting it for me for Christmas. Um, always loved gadgets, always loved uh, electronic stuff like that. But this is just beyond words. Um, like I said, I'm not getting paid to say any of this. I'm just reviewing it, uh, reviewing the ability to take a day trip without leaving your house. So it kind of fits into the genre of our channel. Plus, I've been dying to make a video. I really have been. I just, uh, like I said, I uh, think this week we'll be doing a couple more as long as I feel better. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, until then, keep on tripping.